Welcome to another episode of the Ark Survival Guide. So as you can see, it is a beautiful morning off the back porch of our brand new house. This is why I made these doors like this. It is just so nice to enjoy the view. So we uh, made it through our first night, spent most of the night uh, just getting stuff ready in the new house. And now we are ready to start gathering materials for our raft. So uh, it's really exciting. We can finally use a raft. So I'm just going to fast forward a little bit through this part. I am just going to be gathering materials for a while. And uh, I also unlocked the ability to make small crop plots, which we'll use later on for farming. I keep talking about uh, building a farm. It's probably going to be a little while before we actually get to that. But, uh, you know, it's something I will definitely put together probably when I build a raft fortress. So uh, we've got all this uh, farming we're going to do, and all of this is going to go towards materials for a raft. And as you can see here, we just noticed that the Triceratops back there was trapped. He is stuck, he's got trees wrapped around him, and he's not moving at all. And uh, this happens every now and then, you'll find a dinosaur that's just stuck in some small trees like that. Now, it's possible they can get stuck in an actual rock or part of the landscape, and if that happens, you know, you may as well just not bother with them, because if they're stuck, they're stuck. But this guy right here, he is stuck between a couple small trees, and so if we can tame him, we'll actually be able to cut him out of those trees, and then we've got a useful trike, and uh, it'll be way easier to tame this guy. So as you can see, he just turned around and started running away. They start to run when uh, they're at about 75% torpor, or about 75% of the way towards passing out. So their last ditch effort is to run from you. That's when things get really hairy most of the time, because as you can see, it still takes a lot to hit this guy. He's too big to bowl up, so while a trike is running away from you, I just ran out of rocks, so uh, I'm gonna have to punch this guy down if I'm gonna have any chance. So, uh, and you take a little bit of damage when you do that, but there he goes, he's down. So uh, I'm going to put some berries on him, got some medjo berries there, and uh, I'll put some other berries on him. And I'm uh, going to grab some more berries and get my dinosaurs over here really fast. This is the exact spot where the raptor pack just, I guess, jumped down from that cliff earlier. So I want to get some bodyguards over here as fast as possible. It is really lucky that we found this trike. You almost never find a dinosaur stuck. It's really rare. But when that happens like that, it's like uh, the game's just handing you a free trike. So we really can't pass this one up. I was hoping to uh, tame one after I can make a saddle for it, because at that point I can get him up that uh, log. But, uh, you know, at this point, we will take whatever we can get, so... Here we go. So we're going to get all these guys to uh, hang out here and bodyguard this trike. And he's going to take a while to tame. I'm going to have to uh, have my narcotics ready. And uh, every time I need to use a narcotic, I just put it on the trike and then use it there. And I don't like to stack up all the narcotics on him. so Because uh, if the trike breaks free, wakes up, he'll run off with all your narcotics. And that was a lot of work to get there. So... While this guy is taming up, we seem like we're pretty safe around here, so I'm just going to explore this cave a little bit. I originally started in the Viking Bay area because I planned to make a huge base inside this massive cave. Now this cave is really easy to defend. If I put a big dinosaur gateway across that doorway there, nothing could get in here. And uh, But the problem is it's full of water. And uh, if you see my stamina is going down slowly, if that stamina runs out, I basically can't swim anymore. I have to walk along the bottom, and I'll probably drown if that happens. And it's just really slow getting in and out of here. So I decided to make a base that's a little bit more accessible. And uh, since I don't have stone unlocked yet, a big dinosaur could still break down a door if I made a wooden gateway across that. Oh, okay, there's a big bird there, but we're okay. So let's see how he's doing. He's about halfway tamed now, so we're going to make sure he's got enough berries on him and uh, make sure he's well enough knocked out. We're still doing fine both ways. <laughs> I could think about taming that guy, but I won't. So we'll skip ahead a little bit to when he's uh, getting closer to being tamed. And here we go. So he is just about there. 
And we've got our first Triceratops. These guys are really helpful, much more than the Parasaurs. And uh, the great thing about a trike is it gets loads of berries. If you can just smash through a whole bunch of bushes all at once and get, you know, 20, 30 berries at a time right off the bat. So I'm going to slowly and carefully cut this guy out of the trees because he is pretty well stuck. He's not going anywhere until I can get these trees down. And if I hit the uh, dinosaur with the axe, I will actually do damage to him. And uh, you could see he had a little bit of blood on him because uh, I hit him so many times with uh, rocks. And uh, he might actually be kind of close to dying, so you could actually kill him. There we go, he's free. Great. You could actually kill him by chopping him with an axe accidentally, so you always want to be careful of that. So I'm going to get all of these guys and uh, get them all to follow me. Still picking up all the uh, dino dung I can because that'll be helpful. And I'm going to take those medjo berries off because they're really good for taming stuff. You get a good taming bonus with a lot of herbivores. So uh, that way he's going to have a normal berries instead of eating all of those. I'll save those for another tame. So we are really lucky to get this trike stuck like that. I mean, it is the odds are very low to be actually get that to happen, but uh, it's quite exciting. He'll be a really helpful member of the team. I'm just a little nervous about having him down here because I don't think he can make it up that tightrope when he's following me, and that makes him real vulnerable. So I'm just going to kind of park him here. Trikes can defend themselves a little bit. They've got a decent amount of health, and uh, they can do some damage. They can actually uh, punt smaller dinosaurs off into the distance. It's hilarious to watch. So we're going to just take this guy up the tree, and uh, we'll unload all the stuff we've been gathering. And hopefully we will have enough to make that raptor saddle we've been working on. So I'm really excited about finally getting to ride our raptors. Hunting with a bow and raptors is where it's at. So we'll see you next episode and see if we can do some of that.